Snowtown Boy from Atlantic Bridge, Excelsior on the far side of Pillager, and Snowtown Boy coming there very effortlessly, uh, John Frankham, with the other grey Atlantic Bridge just in behind him. Coming down to what is the fourth last fence now, another plain one this, before the final open ditch. Pillager there from Excelsior and Snowtown Boy, then Atlantic Bridge, and now the final ditch. Pillager from Excelsior and Snowtown Boy. At the ditch. Pillager lands in the lead from Excelsior, Snowtown Boy. Coming down now to the second last fence in the hopeful chase. Pillager under pressure from Excelsior, Snowtown Boy coming there very easily indeed. Pillager there from Snowtown Boy in second and a bad mistake there by Excelsior. Rather did well to recover. Atlantic Bridge disputing third. And here comes Snowtown Boy who's cruised into the lead. Very effortlessly indeed. John Frankham still with a tight hold of him. Snowtown Boy just has to jump it. Does it well. Pillager on the near side and John Frankham cheekily looking across to Pillager's rider, uh, Bob Champion, and is making no effort at all, John, just holding this horse neatly together, letting him stride up towards the line to win this hopeful chase in very impressive style indeed. A real morale booster for our horses. Snowtown Boy the winner from Pillager in second and third Atlantic Bridge. Four is Excelsior. Five and six are Daviot and Foxbridge. And so the result is first. Number two, Snowtown Boy, owned by, by Mrs. Magdalena Keane, trained by Fred Winter, and written by John Frankham. Second was number 14, Pillager, owned by Mrs. Enid Boucher, trained by Josh Gifford, written by Bob Champion. And third, number four, Atlantic Bridge, owned by Mr. D.S. Thorne, trained by Toby Balding, written by Brian Riley, an official of the season, the former champion, John Frankham. Here's how he won the hopeful chase in effortless style as we review it with Julian Wilson. Oh, John could have hit the front any time in the last mile and the hardest thing for him was not to hit the front too soon. He obviously wanted a lead until he jumped the last and that's why he's done everything he can. He's taken three pulls and then switched to the inside of Pillager before they jumped the last. He jumps the last upsides with Pillager, just uh, neatly skips over it and uh, from now on John looking behind to see what's third and fourth. He knows he's got Pillager beaten. Bob Champion's got to give his horse a ride, but he too looks over his shoulder, realises he's certain to be second, and from now on is as kind as he can be uh, to Pillager. As Peter said, a uh, perfect exercise for Snowtown Boy, who's now won both of his last two steeplechases with his head in his chest, having slipped in his first steeplechase at Ascot. Snowflyer 7 to 1, Betty Gorse, Mr. Scott, and Zongaliro 10s.